All right. So this is our model that we're going to use for the respiratory system to talk about the nasal cavity. Our nasal cavities here, and from our lab manual, we have the external nares is our anterior border, and we're going to have the um, inferior border being our cribriform plate, uh, or sorry, not a cribriform plate, our hard and our soft palate, and then our superior border is going to be our cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. And the internal nares is going to be our posterior. Um, we have these kind of speed bumps here, which are formed because of the bones, the superior, medial, and inferior nasal conche. And the tissue on top gives us our superior, medial, medial, middle, and inferior uh, meatuses. And again, the purpose of them is to s help slow down the air so as it's being inhaled, we can humidify, warm it, and allow our mucous membranes to trap any particulates in there. Uh, as we move from the nasal cavity towards the pharynx, remember the pharynx is divided into three. The back portion here behind the nasal cavity is our nasal pharynx. The middle portion here is going to be our um, oral pharynx, and then down the most inferior portion right above the larynx is the laryn laryngeal pharynx. Uh, so again, this is our model. Focus here on the, the nasal cavity, the vestibule, the space here behind it, external nares, the four borders, so top, bottom, front, back, so anterior, posterior, superior, inferior, and then your pharynx.